Alright, thanks for coming out, guys. The purpose of this drill is to prove out of the pace plan. We know that this is the edge of our LTE. We want to maintain uh, connectivity through ATAC. We want to stay on cellular. We're, we're going to drop off. So now we're going to bring in the next network capability to do that to maintain calm. We're also going to bring in binary networking the internet over that same network. So the users out of the field will be using ATAC with the next network. Uh, the node here at the Battalion Team Central will uh, be connected to a cradle point, which is all connected to Starlink. We're going to use Starlink internet, Google Pulse, cradle point, into the Google Maps radio, and then put that down range over all the devices. We're also going to start uh, uh, we're going to do the UIS for video. So when you're out there, it's called ISR for you guys. If you're like, get out to the point, like, hey, you know, I, I need more intel. Can you help me out? I only found this. I didn't find the hiker. We'll bring the drone to kind of help uh, you understand what's going on around you. And then also, you can to go out or to kind of put the action to get to get started. Last but not least, we're also going to test some quick response over ATAC over the next video. I know we normally use our voice comms over the radio, but I'll come in and test the capability out using such a talk and getting that back. The scenario is a uh, hiker called 911 is disoriented. We, like we normally do, when we get rapid SOS with the last arm of the caller. Three things to ask to be very active on you know, the phone. The Italian chief arrives with the squad. The Italian chief is going to plot the point uh, in ATAC here with the squad crew, ensure that they are connected over the local area network, send the squad crew out to that first objective. In the meantime, we'll get the UTV unloaded like we normally do, get the drone set up. You guys get out there, tell us what to find, and then we'll get the drone up to that L14 and uh, go on to that. All right, this is the drill. This is the drill. This is the drill. Mark is Hiker 1. Hiker 1, all right. So to orient you, looks like it's going to be off in that direction. Check, check, check. Squad 1, I see radio check on Hiker 1. Ontario Scott, and I see I copy the notes in tablet command that there's only a uh, report of one lost hiker. Ontario Battalion 1 is on scene with Squad 1 at the Skyline Gate. Continue the response. We'll be operating on TAP 4. Additionally, make notifications to CAL FIRE and have them start a full remote area rescue response. Squad 1, copy. Squad one, I see I've got you on tack. Looks like you're getting pretty close. Just additional information. Ontario dispatch has attempted to recontact several times with no answer. Squad one copies. So then been able to call back and no one's answering the phone. Oh, back back over here. Oh, wow. Oh, can you back that up? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be looking in the area. Look in the general area, see if we find a hiker. I see the squad one. So you see me on the map? Now we have the location of the backpack. We also located a cell phone here. Uh, we're going to take a picture, a quick pic, and we're going to broadcast that and send that to the team. And if you have the UAS available, they're here. Let's launch them to search the area. Ontario Skyline IC update. We've located a backpack with the cell phone that matches the uh, Latin long. We've not located the hiker. We're going to be launching the UAS and additional personnel to begin a uh, wide area search. Continue to response. Have you all uh, personnel stage at the end of Barrera Way. Yeah, let's stage UTV7 at the gate. And if you could have your UAS operator face to face with me, we'll launch. The objectives are going to be to start large area search from the Latin long that was dropped. Uh, all we found was a backpack and cell phone. Squad one is going to be conducting a, a local search that area, but we'll need the UAS to broaden that search. I got a good start point. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, based on the trail, I'm going to do a quick search a little bit to the, uh, the east and the south. And if that doesn't yield, I'll go ahead and uh, do a, uh, a westward search. Perfect. Sounds good. And uh, if you need any comms or things relayed to Squad 1, let me know. Okay, I copy. I, I do have co uh, comm on this as well. Okay. Okay. Ontario, 
Ontario Scrub and I see the UAS is airborne. I see copy. Just continue your haste to search the area and let me know. We have the updates. Squad 1 and UTV 7. The UAS has located the reported missing hiker. We dropped a marker. It's going to be to the west up skyline. I need all resources to deploy that way. Break UTV 7 from IC. Do you see that marker? UTV 7, copy. We do see the marker. And also, we have a feed for the UAS uh, from Winnipeg Airport. I see copies, yeah, respond up there, report to that marker, and give me an assessment. UTV-7, I see additionally, you'll see the UAS up in the air to your south. Uh, it's directly over the victim as a point of reference. UTV-7, copy. Ontario Skyline, I see the UAS has located the down hiker. We're redispatching resources to that last wall. UTV-7, we've located uh, the victim. Uh, personnel are currently assessing. Uh, we'll get back to you with the report. I see copies. UTV-7 is with the patient, uh, evaluating now. Sure, sure. And a copy on the CAN report when you get a chance. Uh, gender, age, extent of injuries, and if around ambulance is going to be sufficient for transport. on the ground uh, searching for the hiker and by the time they rolled up here at the gate in the UTVs, uh, 28 minutes and 30 seconds. So you can imagine, um, you know, even if we had multiple drones, more people, maybe be able to be more efficient to uh, utilize the technology. We did have the technology in the wild right? Going out there and pick a spot to start searching and do our best. 